Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Baltimore for the 13th Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. birthday parade celebration presented by Foreman Mills. I'm your host for this afternoon, Alvin Gillard. We'd like to thank Mayor Stephanie Rollins-Blake, the Baltimore Office of Promotion and the Arts, and the Baltimore Office of Civil Rights and Wage Enforcement for producing this year's festival. We see the motorcycle unit of the Baltimore City Police along with the mounted unit and that means that the parade has stepped off. We're excited to be here another year and this year is shaping up to be one of the most colorful parades that we've had here in the city of Baltimore celebrating and recognizing the life and legacy of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Who can believe that it's been 13 years since we celebrated Dr. King's birthday in this fashion for the first time? We're happy to be with you again this afternoon. So sit back, bring the family together, and let's enjoy the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. birthday parade celebration here in the great city of Baltimore. We'd like to thank the Baltimore Office of Promotion and the Arts Volunteer Corps for carrying the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. parade banner. Whenever we see that banner come down, we know that the parade has officially begun. The Baltimore Office of Promotion and the Arts Volunteer Corps. Who can have a parade without a community marching band? We see the Liberty Road Recreation and Park Council full motion marching Stallings Band. We're happy to see them again, and this is a regional parade. We see Baltimore County, the Liberty Road Recreation and Parks Council in full motion marching band. Being a part of a community marching band is a tradition here in Baltimore City. Young people from the age of three on up are anxious to get started and be a part of a community marching band. And it's good to see that that same tradition carries over to Baltimore County and surrounding counties. And they join us here in the city of Baltimore for the Dr. King Parade celebration. The In Full Motion Marching Band. Behind the In Full Motion Marching Band, we see Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake, joined by Lieutenant Governor Anthony Brown, along with the city state's attorney, Greg Bernstein, city council people, Nick Mosby, Pete Welch, department heads throughout the city of Baltimore, Lieutenant Governor, Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake, all being a part of this year Martin Luther King Jr. birthday parade celebration. It's good to see that mentoring matters. So many real men being mentors and big brothers to those who need them most. The Prince Hall Masons of the Maryland jurisdiction. It's good to see the Prince Hall Mason, the most worshipful Prince Hall Grand Lodge, free and accepted Masons, Maryland and jurisdictions. Incorporated is a fraternal organization dedicated to the fatherhood of God and the brotherhood of man. This fraternal organization takes good men, builds and develops them to be better men. They dispense charity, promote good and solid family values, and endeavor significantly to aid the uplifting of humanity. The Prince Hall Masons of the Maryland jurisdiction. The Grand Marshal of this year's parade, Charles Chu Smith. Please welcome the native Baltimorean and Grand Marshal, Charles Chu Smith. He's a former member of the world famous Harlem Globetrotters. Chu has traveled the world and entertained hundreds of thousands of fans with his basketball skills. His experience and life challenges on and off the court are a unique example of perseverance, integrity, and passion. Upon retiring from the game of basketball, Chu became a successful entrepreneur. His charismatic personality allows him to be a powerful businessman as well as an inspiration to the youth. He has dedicated his retirement years to the personal development of the children and youth of our city and region. The Grand Marshal of this year's parade, Charles Chu Smith. Charles Chu Smith, this year's Grand Marshal. Now we had the Martin Luther King Jr. float. It's a beautifully de designed float embracing the memory of Dr. King. 
this regal float gives you pride as an American that such a strong, steadfast man has such an influence not only in America, but around the world. This year's signature float for the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. birthday parade celebration. Today, Foreman Mills celebrate the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Every other day, Foreman Mills celebrates you. Visit the Foreman Mills Superstore for the best deal in men's, women, and children's footwear, apparel, and accessories. Foreman Mills has been a presenter of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Parade for years now, and we just learned that they've signed on for another year. Thank you to Foreman Mills. One of the great strengths of our nation and our city is diversity, and it's good to see diversity present in this year's Dr. King celebration again as we welcome the Baltimore Privateers Fife and Drum Corps. Dressed in uniforms from the War of 1812, the Fort McHenry Guard represents the soldiers, sailors, and civilians who defended Fort McHenry when Francis Scott Key wrote the Star Spangled Banner. Historically, many of Baltimore's defenders were African Americans. The Fife and Drum Corps, wearing sailor uniforms, is comprised of students from Booker T. Washington Elementary School, along with individuals from Fort McHenry. They are the living legacy of what many black mariners who sailed from Baltimore to attack the British were all about. Jerusalem Temple Number 4. Jerusalem Temple Number 4, ancient Egyptian Arabic order, noble's mystic shrine of North and South America and its jurisdiction. Incorporated Prince Hall Shriners of Baltimore, Maryland. Its membership is dedicated to the principle of fostering civic, economic, and educational development programs throughout Baltimore. Their support provides financial aid to the B. Gaddy Women's Shelter and the annual B. Gaddy Thanksgiving Dinner, in addition to the NAACP and the United Negro College Fund. Jerusalem Temple number four. Jerusalem Temple number four, looking strong and steady in their black and red. Next, we have the Zydeco Cowboys and Cowgirls, the mounted unit of the Maryland Buffalo Soldiers. This favorite equestrian group joins the Dr. King Parade as one of the few minority riding groups in the area. The Zydeco Cowboys and Cowgirls were organized to promote Western horsemanship and the music and culture of the black, French-speaking people of Southwest Louisiana and Southeast Texas. In a reflection of history, cowboys and cowgirls were originally African-American farmhands. During the late 1800s, nearly one-third of all working cowboys were people of color. The mission of this equestrian unit is to keep the cultural legacy relevant to American history. The mounted unit of Maryland, Buffalo Soldiers and Zydeco Cowboys and Cowgirls. We've had the mayor, we've had the lieutenant governor, we've had the state's attorney, we've had the council people, but coming up shortly, the most important man in the parade, the one who follows the horses. Verizon Wireless, representing Verizon Wireless today, are store managers and staff from some of the Baltimore area retail stores in the Wireless on Wheels truck. Verizon Wireless wants to thank all of Baltimore for allowing them to serve and to be a part of the 2013 Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Parade celebration. Now we have the Baltimore Rockers Marching Band. Formed in 1982 and under the leadership of Dominique Coates, this hardworking community band has received many awards. Watch as they strut their fancy moves down the parade route. Their turquoise, white, and silver uniforms give that extra flash of style as 40 members of this band salute Dr. King's legacy by exercising teamwork, good sportsmanship whenever they compete. The Baltimore Rockers Marching Band. Rock on! We're joined by Darren Davis representing Foreman Mills. We know that Foreman Mills is our presenting sponsor again this year. Darren, Foreman Mills has been great for the Dr. King celebration here in Baltimore. Tell us a little bit about what it means to you to be a sponsor of this year's parade. I gotta tell you, Alvin, it, it means everything to us. You know, this is about community. 
MLK Day Minks talks a lot about community, and I'm just excited that we can participate in it. You know, it's really not about forming mills. It's about what's happening in the city of Baltimore, the community coming together, partnering up, and celebrating the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King. So we're just glad and excited we can participate in the way that we can. Great. Now, Darren, we know that you represent the Baltimore, Washington area. Where's home for you, actually? Home is actually Washington, D.C. for me. So I am definitely a diehard Redskins fan. We didn't make it this year, but uh, we're celebrating Baltimore, uh, and we're looking forward for the Ravens to take it all away. Okay. Now, we know that in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., you guys have all kind of parades. You have the inaugural parade yeah. coming up on Monday. So you're used to a parade. Share out your thoughts on Baltimore's King celebration. So many community people, young people, uh, parents, grandparents, really an intergenerational type parade. You know, Alvin, what's happening in Baltimore is absolutely incredible. Um, when I look at Washington, D.C., Baltimore is now mirroring what happened in Washington, D.C. We, we, you celebrate, we do a lot of celebration in Washington, D.C., political environment, and a lot of parades is going on, but Baltimore is now up and coming. And I got to tell you, I'm looking forward to see what the, uh, what's going to happen in the future of the city of Baltimore. Okay. Now, now I'd like to say that we appreciate those kind words, but I'm not sure if the <laughs> residents of Baltimore appreciate a Washingtonian saying we're up and coming. We like to think we're already there, but, 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 but we're excited to have Foreman Mills as a sponsor again this yeah. year, and uh, hopefully that you guys will be with us for many years to come. Come. Absolutely. You know, anything we can do for the city of Baltimore, again, it's really about the community. It's about individuals coming together and partnering. And you know what? I'm excited about what I see, all the action, all of the wonderful people, the young people that you talked a lot about getting out here and taking a stand for this city. And that's what it's really about because our next generation is going to have to lead us to where we're going. So we're excited. And with anything we can do at Foreman Mills, we're happy to do it. Well, we'd like to thank Darren Davis for, uh, again, representing Foreman Mills and Foreman Mills being a sponsor again this year of the Dr. Martin Luther King Birthday Parade Celebration. Thanks, Darren. Thank you. We're joined by the exquisite international pageant is Miss Baltimore County. Exquisite international pageant is the first international pageant to be held in Baltimore. Every August, the exquisite pageant chooses five winners, Miss Exquisite Team, Miss Exquisite, Miss Exquisite, Mrs. Exquisite, Ms. Exquisite, and Mrs. Exquisite Classic. That's a lot to get out. Women from all the states and, and countries are invited to compete for the coveted titles. The pageant prides itself on having a platform for all ages, sizes, and ethnicities. Their beauty and intelligence celebrates the unique and diverse women of today. Stay tuned, we'll be back with more of the 2013 Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Birthday Parade Celebration here on TV25. One of the great bands here in the city of Baltimore, New Edition Marching Band, formed in 1985 under the leadership of Anna Hart and Johnny Mae Alston, this band creates a safe haven for inner city youth with an average of 175 members ranging in ages from 5 to 45. New Edition is known throughout the United States and Canada for its precision, execution, star quality performances, and dance routines, along with the orchestrated sound of their dynamic drum line. Their signature blue, white, and silver uniforms definitely keep them a step above the rest. The New Edition Marching Band. The New Edition Marching Band is certainly one of the crowd favorites. And whenever word gets out that they're going to be performing, folks come from far and wide to enjoy the New Edition Marching Band. Cricket Wireless. Cricket is proud to serve the wireless needs of the residents of Baltimore with great phones. We're happy to have Cricket as a part of this year's Dr. King Birthday Parade celebration. Behind Cricket Wireless, we have Community Mediation. Community Mediation offers services on conflict resolution skills, mobilizes volunteer community mediators, and educates the public in order to reduce violence and improve communication throughout Baltimore City. They mediate just about any type of conflict, and it is for free. 
For more information, call Community Mediation at 410-467-9165. Community Mediation. The Youth Resiliency Institute. The Youth Resiliency Institute is a project of fusion partnerships. Youth Resiliency Institute views the transition of youth into adulthood not as a time of risk, but as a time of promise. Women in Black and the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom. Women in Black is an international peace network that originated in Israel in 1988 and has expanded to countries in nearly every continent. They wear black as a symbol of mourning for all victims of war and stand in silence because there are no words to express the horror of war. The Baltimore branch holds silent vigils in the Inner Harbor and Roland Park. Women in Black Baltimore also coordinates the peace path each September 11th. Next we have MISR Temple number 213. This Prince George's County organization is one of the oldest African-American fraternal organizations in the world. The chapter was established in 1982 and has members in their group ranging from 21 to 100. Most of the active members are in their 50s and they focus on fundraising activities to benefit the National Diabetes Initiative. The Miss American Co-Ed Pageant. Miss American Co-Ed Pageant is a scholarship pageant system for girls and young women to assist them in gaining poise, confidence, and communication skills. The Baltimore All-Stars Marching Unit, Baltimore All-Stars Marching actually is here to promote unity, acceptance, tolerance, and equality. This 50-member community band, adorned in red, white, and blue, have played in various parades and competitions across the United States. Under the direction of Jaquita Robinson, these young men and women are active in their community by organizing coat drives and neighborhood cleanups. The Prince Hall Masons. The Prince Hall Masons are making their debut in this year's parade. Brother David Goodman, who is a Mason himself, is proud that his group holds the principal tenets of brotherly love, relief, and truth as the foundation of their organization. Since the late 16th century to the early 17th century, the obscure origins of the Masons were established. Masonic groups are represented all over the world and in various forms with a membership estimated to be at around six million, the Prince Hall Masons. Empowerment Temple AME Church, Young People's Department. First time participants walking in the parade are the Young People Department of Empowerment Temple AME Church. An important program for these young people is their mission outreach service. They work with our Daily Bread, the Maryland Food Bank, and the Christmas Initiative of the YWCA Transitional Housing. The Enoch Pratt Bookmobile, Knowledge is Power, and our friends at the Enoch Pratt Library have just the vehicle to educate Baltimore. Miss United States All World Beauties 2012. Now we have the new Baltimore Twilighters Marching Band. Originally founded in 1989, the new Baltimore Twilighters Marching Band focuses on education and career development. Members in this colorful group range from ages three to adulthood and have been able to showcase their talents all across the country, in addition to as far north as Canada. The Twilighters have won many accolades and awards, but their biggest accomplishment is taking back the streets one child at a time. Next, we welcome the MLK Parade Float and Raven's Roost number 79. Under the leadership of John Bullock, this roost participates in a variety of fundraisers, such as Maryland Special Olympics, Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure, and the House of Rue. Thank you, number 52, Ray Lewis, and Raven's Roost number 79. Go Ravens! The new Baltimore Go-Getters. Since 1994, wearing purple, white, and silver, the new Baltimore Go-Getters have made their way down the streets of Baltimore. This group of 36 marchers 
have unified the community bands in Baltimore and created the Unity Showcase with members from various bands performing under one umbrella. With many thanks to Nashia Chase and the band members, thank you for saluting the legacy of Dr. King and bringing unity to the marching band community. The new Baltimore Go-Getters. Oh, six? The Baltimore Metro chapter of Alpha, Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity, is the first intercollegiate Greek letter fraternity established for African Americans. It was founded on December 4th, 1906 at Cornell University in Ithaca, New York by seven college men who recognized the need for a strong bond of brotherhood among African descendants in this country. Each year, the Alphas participate in the annual Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Parade to honor Dr. King, who was an, a member of the fraternity. Today, the Alphas continue their commitment to programs such as partnering with the March of Dimes and the Big Brothers and Big Sisters. Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity. All right, following Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, we've got City Ranch. City Ranch is Baltimore's nonprofit educational community horseback program. Their horsemanship program helps refocus children's behavior, challenging them to achieve. Their mission is to give Baltimore children lifelong memories and make horseback riding affordable and accessible to the greater Baltimore community. City Ranch Incorporated. Behind City Ranch, we see a merit group Real Solutions in Healthcare. The goal of Amerigroup is to provide health care to the most vulnerable members of our community. The Baltimore City Department of Public Works, Dr. King, was in Memphis supporting sanitation workers when he was assassinated. Honor him by honoring those who keep Baltimore clean. The Baltimore City Department of Public Works and its employees work around the clock to make Baltimore cleaner, greener, and healthier for us all. The Bureau of Solid Waste collects residential trash and recycling from 210,000 homes. Its Bureau of Water and Wastewater treats and distributes an average of 265 million gallons of water per day. Now that service, the Baltimore City Department of Public Works saluting Dr. King. Is it possible to have a parade in Baltimore without the Baltimore West Siders? I think not. Check out the famous Baltimore Westsiders in their bold red, white, and black. Under the fearless direction of Corliss Green, the Westsiders is a proud band representing the city of Baltimore with members ranging from five on up. They are a nonprofit organization with a mission, goal, and vision to succeed. The Westsiders were the first African-American community marching band in Baltimore City the Baltimore Westsiders. Following the Westsiders is the Baltimore Philip Barrigan Memorial Chapter, Veterans for Peace. Veterans for Peace is a national organization of U.S. military veterans of all eras who have come to realize the futility of war and affirm greater responsibility to serve world peace. The Baltimore chapter was formed in 2003 and proudly bears the name of World War II veteran, former Baltimore priest and peace advocate, Philip Barrigan. The Baltimore Philip Barrigan Memorial Chapter Veterans for Peace. Coming behind the Veteran for Peace, we have the Edmondson Westside High School Marching Band. The Edmondson Westside High School Marching Band is a volunteer band Members practice after school for 90 minutes and are required to maintain their grades. Their school prepares them for careers and of course to continue their education. Under the direction of Stanley Brown, this band has won numerous awards in local events as well as the surrounding states. The Edmondson Westside High School Marching Band. Next, a can can make a difference. A can can make a difference, a compassion outreach of Adopt a Block Incorporated exists for the sole purpose of eliminating hunger in the state of Maryland. Since its inception in 1991, a can can make a difference has mobilized more than 125 local service providers and hundreds of volunteers into a dedicated army of people driven by compassion 
to help others. We also have 92Q Jams. All a part, all a part of the Radio One family. Heaven 600, 92Q Jams, Magic 95.9 FM, and WOLB 1010 Baltimore. And we see Senator Larry Young with the WOLB 1010 van. Good to see you, Senator. We're having a blast here at the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King birthday parade celebration. Don't leave us, stay with us. We'll be right back here on TV 25. Next, we have the exclusive marching unit. Since 2009, the exclusive marching unit has participated in the King Parade. This community band has performed in several events up and down the East Coast and won a few awards along the way. Looking sharp in their red, white, and purple, it is no doubt that these band members make Baltimore shine as they high step down the boulevard. The exclusive marching band. Since 2008, we've been joined by the Baltimore City Women for Obama. The Baltimore City Women for Obama began in 2007. Their main goal is to encourage voter registration. They have traveled to Iowa, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Ohio, and Florida to participate in many of the Get Out to Vote activities. The American Legion Federal Post Number 19 Color Guard. The American Legion Federal Post Number 19 Color Guard is the oldest black American Legion post in Baltimore City and the only one with the Color Guard marching unit. The Color Guard was formerly known as the Blue Helmets or Blue Devils and was formed in the 1930s. Once nearly 100 members strong, they were nationally recognized and received numerous trophies and awards. The unit was reorganized in 1991 and currently has 15 members. They carry the national colors, state flag, city flag, all military branch flags and rifles, the American Legion Auxiliary, and sons of the Legion flags. Now descending upon us is the Myra Grand Chapter Youth Fraternity. The Myra Grand Chapter, Order of the Eastern Star, Prince Hall affiliated, jurisdiction of Maryland, Youth Fraternity, was established in 1962. Now we have the Dynasty Marching Band. Dynasty was formed in July 2010 and focuses on juvenile delinquency, good sportsmanship, and fun in competitive and non-competitive events. Evelyn Moody, who has worked with this group during its conception from the Firebird to Charm City, is an integral leader in Baltimore City community bands. The 50 members decked out in lime green, yellow, and white have participated in the many parades in Maryland and recently won an award at the New York African American Day Parade. Congratulations, Dynasty, on all of your accomplishments. The Dynasty Marching Band. The parade celebrating the life and legacy of Dr. King has ended for this year, but it's our sincerest hope that the life and legacy of Dr. King lives in us all. It's been my great pleasure to serve as your host again this year, and we'd like to thank all of our sponsors, all of our supporters, and most of all, Stephanie Rollins-Blake, the Honorable Mayor of the City of Baltimore, the Baltimore Office of Promotion and the Arts, the Baltimore Office of Civil Rights and Wage Enforcement, and our presenting sponsor, Foreman Mills. Until next time, I'm Alvin Gillard here on TV25 for the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Birthday Parade Celebration.